hello hello so I'm going to introduce you to a zero waste way to make a freezer meal that you've started in a baking dish so last night for dinner I was doing a gluten-free dairy-free pasta bake and I decided I would make a lot extra so that I could freeze a bunch because pasta is a lot of steps and a lot of dishes so if you can just kind of make a bunch then you're really happy you did that your future self thanks you I browned some beef, I added some veg sauce that I had from last year's garden, tomatoes, zucchini, green beans, onions, garlic. I blended it so it was nice and smooth, and I even added some butternut squash puree, um, I think it was a soup actually, that I had made, and I just threw it in there, higher nutrition, just disguise it, nobody knows cooked the pasta al dente, used jovial pasta, rice pasta, added some cream cheese, dairy-free cream cheese. The reason I do cream cheese is because I can't use ricotta. There's no really good dairy-free ricotta out there that I've found. Um, and uh, I just like that little bit of creaminess. And then I added some dairy-free cheese, but by all means, use what you like and what you can eat. I mix that into the pasta and then I just do a layer, layers like you might do with lasagna. And then I freeze it. And I don't put anything on it when I freeze it. I'm just flash freezing this. So this pan went in the freezer until it was a solid mass. Now, when you're taking this out, you may need to let it sit on the counter for a few minutes. Um, you can also use a knife to kind of pop it out once it's um, ready to come out. But the thing is, you don't have to like deep freeze this because you are you just need to get it out in a block. So it doesn't have to go in for that long, just enough so you can remove it. But if you do deep freeze it, if you leave it overnight, um, you're gonna want to let it sit out for a few minutes before you take it out. So you can cover this with a dish towel or something like that or um, a piece of tin foil that you can wash and reuse, but I just kind of pop it in because it's not gonna be in there for too long. Then here's your secret. So a lot of people when they do freezer meals, they'll put saran wrap over the baking tray, the baking dish and then tin foil over the baking dish and then throw those away um, after just one use. And that's what we're trying to avoid. When you're homesteading, you're thinking about sustainability and you don't need a huge garden and animals and lots of stuff to start homesteading. Homesteading starts right here. It's a mindset. It's a way that you change how you're doing things. And so let me introduce you to jumbo sliders. Jumbo sliders. So this is your secret weapon for freezing meals that go in baking dishes. So then all you're doing, once you get it to pop out, I cheated a little, I already got this one to pop out, is you tuck it right in your jumbo slider. You could probably get easily two, two in here. Then when it's time to cook that, you pull it out of the freezer, you find that same baking dish, which shouldn't be too hard, you know, like, oh, I have a square, this is the square. You get it back in there, you throw it in the oven, and you cook it, and you wash out your jumbo slider, and you dry it, and you reuse it. Um, I, I dry a lot of my baggies either on top of like wooden spoons or like a banana. You know, they sell those banana things where you hang your bananas. I'll put, I put that right next to my sink, and when I wash one of my uh, freezer bags, I just put it there to dry. It works really well. And, uh, and that's it, so simple. Such a quick little hack to reducing the amount of waste that you could potentially be making if you're making a bunch of freezer meals. We want you to prepare ahead of time. We want that freezer filled. We want to have all that food waiting for us. We just don't wanna have that waste. And you know, historically, freezer meals come with a ton of waste. So fill those bags up, get the jumbo ones when you're using your baking dishes, and then you can use the regular gallon size for things like meatballs. You can do the meatballs and then whatever sauce. So let's say you're doing a Swedish meatball for dinner and you wanna double it or triple it. You get your meatballs into the baggie and then you use one of those plastic retainers for the freezer and you put your sauce and you label them and you know they go together and then there's a meal, you pull it out, and you're able to rewash. If you are gentle with these plastic bags, they last for a very, 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 very long time. I'm easily going on like three, four years for some of them. Um, I rarely buy new ones unless I just find that we still have so much in the freezer and we need new bags because we just haven't been able to wash out the ones that are in there. Okay, that's it, quick tip.
So go grab a box of Jumbo sliders and uh, I think you'll be all set for kind of hacking the system of freezer meals. All right, thanks for being here, appreciate you.